Bonjourno. And greetings. It's good to see you again. Welcome to the continued expose of the biggest physics breakthrough of this century. My name is Rihanna, hello Andy, in Eisenstadt. Yes, I'm the physics professor who has been delegated to answer all your questions. We are excited indeed to give to you today the eight biggest mathematical proofs regarding Albert Einstein as he searched 30 years to find the connection between gravity and electricity, the first biggest fact. Wikipedia's current value for the velocity of planet Earth moving through space is 29783 meters per second. That value is 0.5% an error. When the correct value of 29979 is implemented, we can then immediately see the famous 10,000 factor. The acceleration of Earth in its orbit times 10,000 equals the acceleration of gravity upon the Earth. As well, the velocity of Earth in orbit times 10,000 equals the velocity of light. This is all because the distance between the Earth and the Sun is 10,000 Earth diameters. We can see in this diagram that the Earth accelerates at 0 0.00098 meters per second squared for 30,585,600 seconds, which is an exact lunar year. It then reaches its orbit velocity of 29,979 meters per second. The second biggest fact is that the acceleration of gravity multiplied by the orbit time of the Earth equals the velocity of light. And this is certainly no coincidence. The third biggest fact is that the diameter of the image of the Moon that hits the Earth multiplied by the velocity factor of light equals the actual physical diameter of the Moon. This is because, as the image of the Moon moves down through the ocean of electrical mass that surrounds the Earth, it is compressed in the exact same way that a beach ball is compressed when it is taken to the bottom of a lake. The pressure of gravity surrounding the Earth compresses light images down in size as well. That same pressure, when expanded by running a magnet through a coil, is the very origin of each and every electrical volt that is being produced around the world. As that electrical mass compresses back to its natural position, it pushes free electrons along any given conductor, thus creating each and every electrical current upon the Earth at this very moment. And of course, this is the very connection between gravity and electricity that Albert Einstein was searching so diligently for. The pressure of electrical mass surrounding the Earth is the very origin of what creates both gravity and electricity. The fourth biggest fact is that, according to Wikipedia, the Earth's magnetic field is 0 0.00003 Teslas. And from EinsteinElectricity.com, we see that the Tesla is equal to 1 over velocity. There you have it. 1 divided by the Earth's velocity is equal to 0 0.00003 Teslas. The mathematics is certainly undeniable. And from this diagram, we can easily envision that any planet moving through the energy of space indeed creates the magnetic field of that planet according to the inverse of its velocity. The fifth biggest fact is that, within this universe, there are absolutely no such things as pulling forces. Any pulling force that you might think exists is simply the pushing force upon the inside of any grip, or either the pushing force of friction. Go ahead, email me with whatever force that you think is pulling, and I will personally email you back, explaining exactly how it is not a pulling force, but rather how indeed it is pushing. The sixth biggest fact is that gravity is absolutely pushing us down onto the Earth. We upon the Earth are exactly parallel to a Galilean thermometer. The force that we feel pushing us downwards is simply the result of the density of our bodies compared to the density of the ocean of electrical mass that is surrounding the Earth. A simple difference in densities is what man defines as gravity. There is no such thing as a force of gravity that pulls upon other objects of mass. No. 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 
pulling gravity does absolutely not exist. You can most certainly kiss that bizarre presumption. Goodbye. Even Isaac Newton didn't believe in such an absurdity. To create gravity, space is curved like this. Not like this. The seventh biggest fact is that all methods of displaying time are directly connected to gravity. Since time is really just the pressure of space that is causing the Earth to orbit, and that pressure also causes gravity, then all forms of time truly originate from gravity. The connection between gravity and electricity that Albert Einstein searched 30 years for is found within this very fact. The ocean of electrical mass that surrounds the Earth is what creates gravity. The elasticity of that same electrical mass is what pushes free electrons along any given conductor and thus creates electricity. Truly a historic unveiling. Okay, now look into my eyes. How can I now get you to share this with at least 10 people? Or better yet, explain it to a classroom full of kids. I mean, come on. Do they not deserve to know? Say yes, they do. We thank Captain Andy T. Kirken, Austria, our chief field correspondent, for his continuous efforts to share this enormous discovery. Thank you, Andy. And to Mr. Z, the Canadian amateur physicist who unveiled this breakthrough to the world. And me. I'm your, Rihanna, who is eagerly trying to persuade you to help inform the children of the world that gravity is indeed pushing them down onto the earth. We hope to see you again real soon. With love. Ciao from Libelle, Italia.